important then. Do you know what tariru means? Tariru is uh, related to. It's not walking. It actually has nothing to do with walking, but I do see it has that ashi kanji. So it makes sense why you'd guess that. Tariru means to be sufficient, to be enough. Tariru. To be sufficient. Do you know what this word starts with? Sai, saite. Perfect. Saite. So saite is like the worst. Is um like the absolute worst something could be. Saite. Um, what's this guy again? Um Tariru. Yep, Tariru. Which what did Tariru mean? Sufficient. Yep, sufficient. And any idea what the knife form of Tariru might be? Knife form. Tari Tariranai. It's actually tidy nine. So it's actually a do verb, not an u verb. So tidy nine. So tidy nine uh-huh. would mean not sufficient, not enough. Hi. What's this word start with sai? Um let's see, sai <clears throat> sai te. Perfect. What did sai te mean? The very least. The 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 very worst, is it? Yes. Um very least the very worst. Both good ways of thinking about it. How do you read this word, the sentence? Okane ga harinai, not Perfect. enough money. Exactly. Perfect. So over here we have some words that you haven't seen before. Dugin. Dugin, sorry. Um this is a made up word for the story which is flowing silver. It's a fantasy element in here. It's some kind of silver silver substance that is liquidy. Um, and masu is a measurement of something. So let's go read. What is this stranger saying? Ryurin ga atarin. Um, saite demo ato hito masu wa naito. Perfect. Perfect. So what do you think tarin means? Some slurring going on here. Tarin, 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 tarino. So from tarinai. tariru. So do you think this is a positive or negative form of tariru? It's a negative form, tariru. Correct. So what do you think ryugin ga tarinai means? We say that gin was silver, right? And flowing ryu silver. Yep. It's flowing. So the flowing silver was not enough. Exactly. We don't have, there's not enough flowing silver. Perfect. So over here, saite demo would be at the very least was a works good in this context. Do you know what this ato hitomasu is telling us? One after yep. one. Masu. Basically, like one more masu, one more serving. So you have naito. What do you think naito tells us? We said that that toll was that um. If we don't do it, there's a con- there's a negative consequence afterward. Exactly. Yep. So in other words, um, uh, we don't have enough flowing silver. At the very least, if we just had one more serving, or, or literally, if I don't have one more serving, then something bad's going to happen. So perfect. Hi. You know what seikaku means? Seikaku. Um, seikaku. Is to... Um, to confirm the truth, right? Yeah, it can kind of mean that. In this case, seikaku would be um, exactly of something. Exactly. Exactly something. So, seikaku is a noun, and if you turn to exactly, you'd be adding me here. Seikaku ni. Um, so you're right. There's like correct right here in tashikameru kanji. So you, th- you would assume it would be double checking, but it really just is to be exact. Seikaku. Can you read this for me? Um, kiko, 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 kiko. Kikitoru? Kiki? Kikitoru? Right. Is it? Kikitoru. 
Any guesses what it might mean? Is to take a listen. Yeah, it is literally to take a listen. This is used to mean to catch someone's words, to to barely be able to hear it, kind of. So in, in, in Japanese, it is to take what you hear, but in English we say to catch someone's words. Doru. Hi. Um, what's this word? Accurate. Ended with kaku. Yep. Kaku. Can you read this for me? Nanika itaka. Say taku ni. Kiki toranai. I cannot hear accurately. Something was said, but I was not able to hear it accurately. Perfect. Um, can you read this part of the sentence? Rochiwa makura yami. Perfect. What does this mean? The alleyway was. The the alleyway is um, completely dark. Yeah, completely, totally, super duper dark. Can you read this word for me? Tsukidasu. Tsukidasu is that something sticks out to stick out. Tsukidasu. Mm -hmm. Can you read this for me? Kirai. Mm -mm. Kurai. Kurai. Yep. Kurai rochi de naifu o tsukidashita. The at the dark road or the dark alley, the knife, right, the knife stick out. Perfect. The knife sticks stuck out in the dark alleyway. What's this word? Sorry, with say. I'm sorry. I think yeah. I might have interpreted that long. Oh, it wasn't the knife that was to go. It took an all particle, right? So it's a direct object of that verb. So yes. something stick out the knife. Yes. Something else. The doer was some other thing. Yeah. So probably I. I stick out. I, I, I stick out a knife. I or... whip out a knife or something yeah. like that. I make the knife stick out in the alleyway. I... What's this word? Started with say. Taku. Kaku. Kaku. Ka. 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 Say kaku. It's it's just pronounced as, like same as say kaku for um personality. I see. <laughs> say kaku. <laughs> different kanji. It's completely different words. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> what does say kaku mean? Say kaku is uh, for certain. Yeah. Or to accurate. be accurate. 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 Mm -hmm. Oops. Mm -hmm. This. Can you read this for me? Sekaku ni te ka no ita koto ga kiki tota. Is that right? Yep. So, um, the servant or the minion no ita koto, he say something, or the words, the thing that was spoken by the servant was, what, um, he was accurate. And Kiki Tota, I I heard, I heard accurately. So the se ni se kaku ni describe the verb, Kiki Tota. So I heard accurately what was said by the minions. Yep, the thing said by the minions, I was able to catch it accurately. So normally you will see it over here, but there is actually nothing stopping it from going over here, other than it's just it's a little bit easier to read if it's over here. But grammatically. The adverb can go way over here because this um verb could be like that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Um, any guesses how this word is read? Mm, satsuki. Good guess. This is actually sake. a small to so saki. Saki. Saki is, is like yeah. It's like a uh, kill and then. Key meaning like the the will to kill or the intent. Basically, yeah, some kind of killing intent. Saki. So what did it start with? It ended with key. Sa, satsu, yep. but the uh, glotto just sa. Yep. Can you read this for me? Saki tatsu. Yeah. So this to... ka right here actually gets rendaku. So saki datsu. 
Sorry. Sakidatsu. Sakidatsu. <laughs> um, this means it to be just... seething with anger. Yeah? Anger I see. Stands. So it's stan. It's like a rising motion. <laughs> the, 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 the killing intent stand up. Yeah. In a way. It yep. rise up. Good way of thinking about it. You read this for me? Higure no kimi ga tsukitatta. The Lord of Twilight. Um, like his killing intent, right? His anger, mm -hmm. his rage Toad, stands can you out. Read this word again out. for me? Tsuki tatta. So you said tsuki. Oh, not tsuki. Sak sake. Yes. Saki tata. And is this ta? Data. Hi, hi, hi. Saki data. It sounds so much like dasu in the te, in the ta form. Yep. That, that does. does. It? Data, like past tense of da. Yeah, it is like, like, it almost mean the same thing too, is it? Kind of. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't really be grammatically correct, but it does have the same meaning. Do you know what tsukidasu meant? Tsuki. Tsuki is as, as in like stabbing something, right? Kind of, to stick to out. To stick out. Dasu. Oh, to stick out. To be um, noticed. Mm -hmm. How would you put that in passive form? Tsukidasa. Perfect. Dasareru. Nice. Can you read this for me? Kurai rochi de knife ga tsukidasareta. This time is the knife st stuck out at the alley, the dark alley. Yep. Perfect. So now you get to go read the line from the book. Soko de koe ga jisaku natta no de se kaku ni wa kikitore nakata ga kurairochi de tsukida sareru naifu o you ni saki tatta goeda goeda. So, so, what is our subject? Koega. At that, at Soko, at that place, the sound, uh, the sound, chisaku natta no de, the sound was small. Nai, nai, the sound was not, not small. No, you're right, that, it is being small. This is natta from naru. Not Naru. nakat. Na, it's not nakata. So hai, hai. Nakata would have been not was not small. Now it just mean it became small. So earlier the voice was quite loud and you could hear what he was saying, but then the voice has gotten quieter. Hi. So quiet is voice. So it's gotten quieter and and thus um se kakuni wa kiki nakataga and I was not able to accurately pick out the words however gurai rochi de tsukida sareru um at the dark alley so wait uh, look at where things are connected is that the right spot to start you think um, so i should start at the end yes yeah i would start here because this right here is all part of yoni right the little right. relative clause right here. So modifying yoni. So da saki tatta goeda. There is a voice. There is a there is a um a murderous voice almost. Exactly. So basically over and... there the voice got quieter. And since it got quieter, I was unable to exa accurately hear what they were saying, but the voice was full of anger. Full of anger. A voice that was full of anger as if 
as if it was a knife that stick out in a dark alley. Perfect. Okay, now we're doing kanji check. Remember this guy from last week? Two days ago? Yesterday? <laughs> Time. Um, Kino chain right Sa sari something sari kusari hi kusari. kusari perfect how about this guy decoration decorations anari good guess so kusari is chain kasari is decoration kusari kasari it's kind of fun kusari. that they're similar because chains are a kind of um kasari Kasari, kutsari, chains are decoration. Kutsari, kasari da. Kutsari wa kasari da. Kasari da. Yep. Do you know how to read this word? Saite. Saite. Perfect. How about this one? Tarin. Perfect. Not, not sufficient. Tarin. Tarinai. And what's this guy up here again? Kutsari. Kutsari wa kasari da. So. You have to know this kanji. That's it. Yep, that's it. Different. Can you read this line for me? That's no. Kagi ana o nozoki da nozoki konda. Nozoki konda was to slip in. Close. That's suberi konda. Both have the commas. Nozoku. I'll show you the kanji for it. Nozoku. Part of type when you have like a pen in your to hand. Get, to stare, to pick, yes. have a pick. To look into. To look into. So, betsu no ka kagi ana o no. I wonder why there's a no. Oh, no, that no was part of the nozoki. Hi. Nozoki konda was I take a look into another keyhole. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Kewashi. Yep. Kewashi is stern or like a grim look on someone's face. Can you read okay. this for me? Um, Kewashi kao ve ore o mioro, mioro shita. Right? Mioro yep. shita. Um, ore o mioro shita. Look down. Look down at me. Kawashi kao de. With a grim face, he looked down at me. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Me, Sumi? So we've seen Sumi before. Do you happen to remember what that means? Sumi? We talk about it now. A Sumi is a corner. So most rooms have at least four corners. Sumi. Sumi. It's a corner. corner. But it's not uh, a kado. So a kado is a different kind of corner. So sumi specifically is a nook. <laughs> kind of. So that's like the corner of a room. Kado oh. is more like the corner of an object. So for I... example, the corner of a picture frame, the corner of a road. It's like that bump of things. So if I, for example, was talking about a window frame... These would be not sumis, these would be kados. Sumis I, is very specifically that area of the corner that you could like sit in or put something in. So I, you could hide in. So you could kind of think about it is that the a sumi is a corner like this that like you go into, and the kado mm. is the opposite, right? Kado, this is filled in. I, so you get stabbed so by the kado. They make the distinction between a convex angle and a concave. Angle. Yes. Um, can you read this for me? Betsuno no heya no sumi o yubi sasta. So I point at the corner of the room of another room. Perfect. Yep, on a different room's corner. Mm -hmm. Um, can you read this for me? Majutsu shi wa. Majutsu shi ga kewashi kao de heya no sumi o yubisasu to 
大きな音を立てて、別のドアが開いてしまるのが聞こえた。So the magician, with a stern face, he point a finger at the, the nook of the room, and then immediately, a great sound. Emerges or emerge, and Betsu no doa ga aite shimaru. A door, a different door, it's open, it's aite, and then it's shimaru, it closes. No ga. That it is. Uh, okay, well, maybe I'm. Uh, Kikoeta. So that whole thing is what I heard. exactly perfect. So that's probably um this this area Pacific is what you quite quite that got a little comma here. So they're kind of separated. So first off, we got a angry man pointing in the corner of the room, and then I hear the sound, a loud sound, and I also hear a different door opening and closing. Hi. Um, can you read this phrase for me in the bold? Nebri wa isu no se ni motare kakate. Hi, so this is to lean against. What is it saying? Nebri lean against. Motare kakate. He leaned his back against the isu, which is the chair. The chair. Can you read this for me? Se o mukeru. Any guesses what this might mean? To turn this one back? Yep. So your back faces somebody. Um, Can you read this phrase for me? Ore wa atari o mimawashita. And we say mimawashita was like to turn around? Good guess. So this is actually to look around. So turning could be involved, but it's not necessarily needed. Mimawashita. I look around. The surrounding. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Doa ni se o muketa otoko wa shodana ni chikazuita. Perfect. So chikazuita is to approach and approach the bookshelf. And it was the man, a man that had his back turned against the door. He approaches the bookshelf. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. So our next word, ita, is a board. Specifically, we're talking about boards on like a bookshelf. So these panels, these shelves would be called itas. So that's ita. what a, Hi. ita is. Um, you know what Ichiban means? Ichiban? One. Yeah, number one. Number one. The order is the first so, thing. So, the first thing. How do you read this? Cardinal. Hi. Um, dan, not dana. Uh, ban? This was Ita. Ita. What did Ita mean? The board. Flat oh, so. object. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Um... Shodana no ichiban ue no ata. Ita. What is this saying? The board that is on top of the first uh, book, bookcase. Kind of. That sounds a little off for me as a, this sounds a little off. They're talking about the top shelf of the bookshelf, bookcase here. So it is the shelf that is the most on top of the bookshelf. Would be the literal translation. The most so, top. The most top shelf. Hi. So you could say Ichiban Shita, for example, would be the most bottom shelf. Hi. The very top shelf of the book. The okay, very exactly. top 
um panel of the bookshelf. I feel like in English you just would say shelf, but it is panel. I... <laughs> you know what also means? Also. Hi, also. To press. Yeah. Nice. Can you read this for me? Oshi yori rashiotoko wa sono ita o oshita. So also is to do. Mm, to push. To push. To push. Oshita. The man that was Toshi Yori Rashi, that seems to be older in age, um, pushed. Uh, he pushed that panel. Perfect. With that board. That board. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Sono ato majutsu shi wa kochi ni se o muke. Shodanani after that, the magician, Koichi ni muke seo muke, um, with his back facing my direction shodanani chikazuite he approaches the the uh, bookshelf atari o mimawashi he looks around the area and shodana no ichiban ue no ita o oshita he pushed at the very top panel of the bookshelf. Perfect. Yeah, we got Secret Passageway. <laughs> um, oh, secret Passage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do you remember how uh, that guy's read? Betsu. Betsu. Perfect. Do you know who happened to know this guy? Itoro. Good guess. Um, This is Ushiro. Ushiro. Ushiro, meaning behind. Yep, behind. Ushiro. Can you read this for me? Rope, rope no ushiro ni kane no uh, kusari ga bura ogeta. ogeta. Uh, sa. Saketa. Bura is um, to hit, right? Mm, maybe. Um... Buddha sageru is to hang. To hang. So it just says gold chains are hanging um at the back of the robe, which is a little odd probably, but I I was tired. I... Do, 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 where am I? Um do you know what arawareru means? Arawareru is to appear. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Subayaku ugoku Teo Matsu Orewa Ude no e Dorobo Gata. So, one thing is this Matsu? Motsu. Hi. Motsu Orewa. So, um, having I who have I who in possession of quick hands. To I who in possession of hand that can make things move quickly is a skillful thief. Yeah. Um Ugoku is my hands move quickly, so Ugokasu is the make something move. So I, I could I who possess hands that move swiftly, I'm a skillful sleep thief. Hi. Can you read this for me? Um Shodara no Ushiro Ushiro, ushiro ni New Iriguchi Iriguchi yeah. got um Arawareta uh, Arawareta for this guy Arawareta um so the entrance that um the entrance appear at the behind 
the bookshelf. So it is a sacred passage. Cool. Um, so right now is our halfway point. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'll see you in two seconds. Hi, see you then.